so, you know, you've been betrayed by someone, and so you fall into that underworld of, of, of doubt about everything. And it's a serious place to be in that underworld, eh? Because not only do you not know where you came from, or who you are, or where you're going, that's bad enough. So that's the underworld itself. But there's a subdivision of the underworld, like the worst suburb, which is, I think, what hell is, essentially, from a metaphysical perspective. Because, you know, if someone really cuts you off at the knees, especially if they do it in a malevolent way, and, and if you're going to be betrayed, and you really want to be betrayed properly, you want to be betrayed by someone who's really out to hurt you. You know, they just weren't being stupid. They were, like, after you, for whatever reason. And then that's also, you plunge into that underworld space, and that's also when you start to nurse feelings of resentment and aggrievement and murder and homicide, and even worse, you know, because if people are betrayed enough, they start, they start to obsess about the utility of being itself and perhaps go to places that no one would ever want to go if they were in their right mind and to, and to develop and nurse fantasies of the ultimate revenge. And, that's a horrible place to be, and that's hell, as far as I can tell. And that's why hell has always been a suburb of the underworld. Because if, if you get plunged into a situation that you don't understand, and things are not good for you anymore, it's one step from being completely confused. It's only one step from being completely confused to being completely outraged and resentful. And then it's only one step from there to really looking for revenge. And that can take you places that, well, that that merely to imagine properly can be traumatic. And I've seen that happen with people many times. And I think that anybody who uses their imagination on themselves can see how that happens, because I don't imagine there's a single person in the room that hasn't nursed fairly intense fantasies of revenge, at least at one point in their life. And usually, you know, for what appear to be good reasons. It's no picnic to get betrayed, that's for sure, and it can shake your faith in being. But it, if it shakes it so badly that you turn against being itself, that's certainly no solution, that's for sure. All it does is make everything that's bad even worse. So... If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. And have a beautiful day.